Hello. In this video, we will see how to pass secure module configuration items as part of header in the REST adapter call in TrueSight orchestration. Let's get straight to the demo. This is our simple workflow. We will use this workflow to activate an autopilot OA common utilities module on the grid and we will pass the authentication token as secure module configuration item. We have already created an authentication token here as a module configuration item. Now let's see what changes we have to make in header to pass the secure module configuration items. If we see the header here, we have manually defined the parameters here itself because when we add a secure configuration item here, it will convert this whole header into an encrypted XML due to which workflow will not be able to add these parameters to header later while forming a request because we can't decrypt it in the workflow once it is encrypted. So all the parameters which should be part of header should be defined here. As we have already defined the URL in the header, there is no need to define URL specifically here as a context item. And we have also left all other fields blank, which we have already specified in the header itself. This is our sample body, which we have to provide for the module activation. As you can see, we will be activating the autopilot OA common utilities module. Before running this workflow, let's verify on the grid that we don't have the module already activated. So as you can see, autopilot OA common utilities module is not activated here. Let's go and run the workflow now. We'll save it. Execute it. So as we can see that we got the successful result. Let's verify this on the grid. Here we go. So the autopilot a common utilities module is activated now. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more TrueSight orchestration updates.